Hey everyone, happy Valentine's Day. What better way to celebrate it than with another episode of Smite Community Concepts with none other than your favourites, me Pearly and me Super Dazza. Just to say really quickly, thank you all so much for your support of the first episode. The feedback was amazing and it was highly appreciated. And don't forget to look at the links in the description. Like our Twitter, where we post spoilers for each episode before they come out. There's also the link to submit your own skin concepts, and the link to vote on your favourite skin concept from this episode. Speaking of your favourite skin concepts, the winner of the last episode was a draw. Congratulations to Poopid for Apollo 13 Apollo, and Azilo for Screaming Soul Soul. You two can claim your pride. Terms and conditions apply. If you want to check out that episode, there's a link in the description. Now, onto this episode, which includes Mega Man, Monster Minions, and a moose. Enjoy! Mercury! Leonidas has done it again with another great skin concept. They said that the areas that are red on Mercury would be dark purple for this skin, and they would glow when in-game and walking around. His armour would be bright yellow and blockish to represent pixels. His face would be replaced by an emoji similar to that of Bass Drop Janus, and it would be light red. His sandals would be replaced by sneakers, or trainers as we like to call them, and he would wear black bracelets with stars upon each of his wrists. Also his skin would give off a light blue glow and his voice would be pixelated. In Mercury's first ability, Made You Look, light blue particles would fly to the target location and a star would be seen on the ground AOE as well as blue pixels flying from the area. Maximum Velocity, his second ability, would have game cartridges and boxes flying around Mercury leaving a pixel trail behind as they move. A pixelated rock note would be heard, and when punching someone, a pixelated score of the damage he deals to enemies appears over their head when he hits them. In his third ability, Special Delivery, Mercury would leave a trail of pixels as he runs forward. If he hits an enemy, a loading screen would appear in front of them, and multiple copies of Mercury would hover and spiral around the enemy. And finally, Sonic Boom, Mercury's ultimate, would have him transform into a pixelated sprite design before blasting forward with a blue laser following behind him. Leonidas has also said that enemies stunned by this ability would briefly turn into pixel sprites, then turning back again after the stun wears off. However, I'm not sure whether this is possible to implement into the game. It's a nice idea though. Kairos. This is a nice and simple skin concept from Husky Frost. They said Kyron would wear a traditional western outfit, like a cowboy hat and stuff. That's it, but in fairness, that's all we need to know. For training exercise, Kyron's first ability, there will be a red or brown effect, and the image in the AoE would be a gunpowder barrel. His second ability, Masterful shot, would have red crosshairs as the marks on the targeted enemies. Giddy Up, his third ability, would look like Chiron kicks up dirt instead of having the blue particles behind him. And his ultimate, Centurus, would be Chiron rearing up and looking down, so his hat is over his eyes.
Guan Yu. Well, I wonder where the creator of this skin is from. Kevu says that Guan Yu would be wearing a Mounties uniform and his weapon would be replaced with the Canadian flag. And of course, his voice accent would be Canadian. Conviction, Guan Yu's first ability, would be the colour of maple syrup and a maple leaf would appear on the ground. Guan Yu's second ability, Warrior's Will, would... Uh, wait, um, hold on. P pause the video. Uh, Purdy. Yeah? What's, what's going on? Um, what does that what does that say? It says Guan Yu's second ability wouldn't change. But but then what what, the, just, what am I meant to say? No, calm down. Just, no, breathe. But no, what? don't don't collapse again. Just breathe. Okay. Just read it out exactly what it says. So Guan Yu's okay. second ability wouldn't change. Okay. <sighs> Guan Yu's second ability, Warrior's Will, would. Not change. For Talu Assault, his third ability, he would spin the Canadian flag around. This is genius. For his ultimate, Cavalry Charge, Kevoon says that Guan Yu would, <coughs> would hop onto his trusty moose, hitting everyone in his way with the Canadian flag. Yep. And the final skin concept of the episode is Crimson Rose Noir by Walhalla, which actually came with artwork, so we'll try to make Noir look what she does in the art. Walhalla says she'd be wearing armour made of brambles, and her crystals would be replaced by five roses, a black one, a red one, a pink one, a purple one, and a white one, and her voice would be Chinese. Noir's first ability, Mysterious Fog, would have floating rose petals hidden inside it. Clay Soldiers, her second ability, would be replaced by, in Mulhalla's words, creepy monster plant minions. Take of that what you will, I guess. And for her third ability, Shining Metal, she would throw a ball of brambles and thorns, and when her minions explode, there would be petals in the air. And, to finish on a high, get it? Because Noah's ult makes her fly up, and never mind, her ult, Fire Shards, would make the bottom part of her body transform into a gigantic bramble, pushing her up into the sky, and roses would fall on enemies and explode in a petal frenzy. And that's it for this episode, thank you very much for watching. Which skin was your favourite? Vote from the link in the description. Do you have a skin concept you want to show off? There's a link to the form for that in the description as well. If you liked the video, hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to not miss a single episode. And if you have any feedback, good or constructive, leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.